And obviously the title of my presentation is Glimpses into the Writing Life, What I've Learned from Lauren's Wilder. I think one of the great strengths of Lauren's Wilder's Little House series is the warm personal voice that invites readers to forge a personal relationship with Laura Ingalls, the character, and Laura Ingalls Wilder, the writer. Like most of you, I fell under that spell, too. So my remarks today will begin with that personal connection I felt to Laura Ingalls Wilder, and then, be patient, I'll move to something bigger after, after we get started. Okay, so I'm when I was eight years old, growing up on an acreage about eight miles outside of Springfield, Missouri, I started writing stories. Most of the stories were set in the past with titles like Old Eliza, a story about a slave who dreamed of freedom, Four Little Dutch Maids, my take on little women, <laughs> Four Little Maids from Japan, my second take. <laughs> The pictures were far, far better than the text. <laughs> As you can. <laughs> now, why did I start writing? I have no idea. But as one of my friends once said, a very wise and accomplished children's book author, Eloise Jarvis of Roth, it's best to have a desire to write, it's like the desire to read. There was also a section on make and take crafts. Participants could come and select a wide variety of crafts to either do here or take with them. worked in conjunction with the conference to let people buy books at a discount. It's kind of wonderful how we are 
using some of the same quotations and things like that. So sorry for the overlap, but here it goes. <coughs> in 1937, Laura Ingalls Wilder took up a 50-50 school notebook and wrote on its first page, The Shores of Silver Lake, Chapter 1, Westward Ho. Over the course of the coming months, she and her daughter, Rose Wilder Lane, would correspond several times about the central about what the central theme of the novel should be. And while Wilder finally concluded that the focus of its plot structure was a search for a homestead. Nevertheless, this was not going to be one of Wilder's little house titled books. But on May 23, 1939, as the book was being ready for publication, Wilder, Wilder wrote to her daughter, about Silver Lake, it covers so much more than a homestead that I don't think the use of the word in the title would be good. On the banks of Plum Creek went over so well that I think that that sort of title is taking. But it isn't all about the shores, so I think. By the shores of Silver Lake would be better. It is no longer than the title of Plum Creek. The college library is directly over there, and they're also participating in the conference by having a display on Laura and the books that they have available to check out. And they also have a very nice coffee shop that was willing to make some coffees for me at the last minute. So if you need anything, head on over to the library. Some of the jewels of the Minnesota State University Library uh, collection on Laura. Thank you. 